Amore! Hard break. Foreshadowing, the foreshadowing, the foreshadowing. It's like telling you, uh, it's almost telling you guys, Ko is not gonna stay. Nah, you're not gonna stay. I I'm telling you, I, I just have a feeling. Sudi Damas Kun, Sudi Damas Kun is named Sudi Damas Kun for a reason, but there's not really that much to cover this week in our horror ride because they did give flashbacks. But as long as, like, a as far as plot progression goes, that was main, like, that was the main chunk of the episode. At the end, we do get to see Ko kind of open up, but. It's not gonna mean too much because all we've done, I think all Ko has done at this point is reveal the problem, not found a way to fix it. He's found the part that he, he's realized that the whole reason why he hasn't opened that door is because he's been waiting for permission. But the question is, has he gotten the permission yet? And personally, I think he has, but he'll still refuse to open it due to the fact that he doesn't want to lose anybody. And I think one of the obvious foreshadowing things this episode was the flashback that, um, I can't remember her name. It was, it's the black-haired girl. My god, I don't remember her name because <laughs> she doesn't talk that much. But she had ended up referencing the cat. And what that cat references is the fact that the whole reason Ko didn't care for that cat was because he didn't want to lose it. And Futaba already knows that. So the question is, is that cat pretty much just telling us the ending of how... I mean, like, there has been some obvious foreshadowing in this series. I think everybody can, you know, go with that statement. The, the foreshadowing that they have given us just leading up towards certain moments is just like, oh, thanks, but you kind of did make it predictable, which isn't necessarily a bad thing. It's just that it makes the ending, it, it makes you just think at uh, what's happened in the past, how is this going to end? Like I said, which isn't a bad thing, but it does kind of lead you towards the correct direction. The other reason why I think Ko is probably going to leave next episode and not choose anybody is part it's really just because of his mother. The whole problem with his mother, the entire issue that he doesn't want to lose something, he doesn't want to screw up again, and the fact that he said earlier in this episode that he doesn't want to start over and that he can't start over. And with that being said, if he got with if he got together with anybody in that group, that would be him starting over again. And that's one of the reasons why I think he's just going to leave because he can't start over. And he's mentioned that himself during this episode. So overall, I think he's just he's destined to leave. Now there is one thing that I do want to bring up. There is an orange-haired person in this episode, and I think that most people would just be like they're just going to disregard him, say he's con comedy relief. That's what you think? I feel as if, I don't know, he had this weird hairstyle, not necessarily hairstyle, but the color and the tone that he gave off, I feel as if, like, next episode, he's gonna have a far more importance than he did this episode. I feel, I, I don't know what it is, but the tone he gave off and the mood he gave off made me feel like he he may have more significance. And we didn't see him any part after that, but I just... I don't know. I just feel like he's going to end up being something essential at the end of this story, even though we don't even know his name. We're just going to call him Orange Haired Guy. And I, I don't know. It's just something he gives off about his aura that makes me think he's going to be so goddamn essential at the end of this. And I'm not going to get too much into the flashback because I think all I have to say is, damn, that hurt to watch. <laughs> but our horror ride ends next week. And you know what? So do a lot of other summer anime, so this is gonna suck. <laughs> so I think tonight I'm going to get out what I'm I am going to check out and what I'm going to watch this fall. So if you guys are watching this video, stay tuned for that. So I should have it out tonight, and I it's gonna be weird because I'm not gonna have any AMVs in the background. I'll probably just have something like Blaze Blue gameplay because Blaze Blue is the shit, bro. Get with it. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you guys did enjoy, please leave a like, comment. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Deuces.